So we've looked at how we make condensation polymers, now we're going to look at how we break them up. This is very much a revision of the last couple of topics where we've looked at esters and the hydrolysis of esters, and we've looked at proteins and the hydrolysis of proteins, because we're now just going to look at combining them together. So uh, we're going to start off with our condensation polymer. And there are two types of condensation polymer. They are, of course, polyamides and polyesters. So we're going to separate out into two polyesters and polyamides. And you'll remember, I'm sure, from the previous topics, you can hydrolyze esters in two ways and you can hydrolyze amides. So we're going to do that. So let's do polyamides first. We can use, oh, excuse me, we can use base hydrolysis and acid hydrolysis. So we can do sodium hydroxide aqueous reflux, and we can also do HCl aqueous reflux for polyamides, and we can do exactly the same for polyesters as well. Is this the end? Is the end of the end of the That's the end of the end. We're going to use NaOH and reflux, and we're going to use HCl aqueous and reflux. But all I'm going to add to this uh, is an example as I go down. So let's say I take a... Oh, do you want me to get you? You can do that and then we'll come back. Okay, so if we take a polyamide and we hydrolyze it with sodium hydroxide solution, what am I going to make? A polyamide I will make in sodium hydroxide solution the salt of the carboxylic acid. And I'll also make the amine. If I do the same reaction in HCl, I will make the carboxylic acid. And this time, I will make the salt of the amine. Because this is a base, so a reactive reaction. That's an acid, so we have to the base. If I look looking at polyesters now, if I use sodium hydroxide solution, I will make the salt of the carboxylic acid. And I'll also make the alcohol. If I'm in HCl, I'll make the carboxylic acid and the alcohol. Because remember, alcohols are neither acidic nor basic. So I get them, but they will not react with me with these. So I make the alcohol straight away. So let's do on this, let's say this is going to be our polyamide. So we'll have a benzene ring. And that's joined up to, let's do, this has been our... So that's my polyamide that I've drawn. And over this side, I'm going to do the same thing, but make it a polyester. So I use the same benzene bit, but I'll change this to be a polyester. I've now got O's instead of the NH's. So I've got a polyester. So we're going to hydrolyze these up. So what bond are we going to break? We're going to break the yeah, amide bond there, and we're going to break the ester bond there. So let's go back to do polyamide. I'm going to break this up. I'm going to make the salt of the carboxylic acid. So that is going to be the benzene ring O minus 
home mine, and I used sodium hydroxide to reach NH plus. That's not that's O minus, not a covalent bond. O minus NH plus. And the amine, the amine, if I hydrolyze that, is going to split to give me that little guy here. If I use HCl, it will give me the carboxylic acid. But now it's going to give me the salt of the amine. Because I've used HCl, it will be NH3 plus Cl minus. But it's going to be on both sides. Like so. CL minus. I think I clearly stated the expected What about this one? It's now a polyester. So I'm going to make the salt of the carboxylic acid. Like so. But now I'm going to make the alcohol. Which is going to be that color. This one, I'm going to make the carboxylic acid because I'm in an acidic solution. And I'm also going to make the alcohol as well. Like so.